When you have truth and fact being used as it is at the moment, what are your concerns about where that takes us? It is horrible, all this, I admit it. But now I'll say something which again may surprise you. Isn't the liberal left engaged in something quite similar in its own version of so-called post-factual approach? Look, I will say something horrible for which you will lynch me probably now, but what's the favoured type of political commentary now for liberal leftist, uh, leftists. John Stewart, John Oliver, and so on. This kind of a half-joking, very arrogant, comic commentaries, and so on, and so on. This is the ultimate failure of the left for me. This patronizing, making fun of the ordinary people. Talking of making fun of ordinary people, I used that quote earlier. You have said before, 99% of people are boring idiots. I mean, I know which category I, I fall into. My, my wife and my editor tells me that every day. But uh, which category do you think you fall into, the 1% or the 99%? No, no, no. I'm here very realistic. For me, 99% are boring idiots. For other people, I may be part of those 99%, but you know what was my intention behind this? I hate this liberal multicultural pressure. No, if you really try to understand another people, you will see that they are not boring. No, why this pressure? For me, true multicultural tolerance is, I don't understand you, you don't understand me. Can't we nonetheless be nice and kind to each other? The difficult thing is to for me to tolerate you in your difference, not trying to swallow you to understand you. Briefest thing, we've literally got yeah. no time. I read a, an article saying that you and Trump are actually quite similar, both provocative, eminently quotable, but strip it away, and you're actually quite similar. Does that bring you out in a cold sweat? One you sentence. See, you see, this is, no, because this is what I'm criticizing. This is the left post-factualism. I write a book of 1,000 pages about Hegel. Are, Nobody counts that.